Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So in today's video tutorial, guys, we're going to be looking at um, a taxation question, right? Where we're going to be calculating the rate of tax um, that Kelly needs to pay, right? Um, and the difference, or what's different about this question is we've got medical aid, right? So I'm going to be showing you how we need to calculate the total tax that Kelly needs to pay looking at the monthly medical tax credits um, that she receives, okay? So let's have a look at this question, right? In the previous video tutorial, guys, I showed you how we basically calculate um, the rate of tax. Um, I spoke about um, the fact that that you need to obviously subtract your rebates right if you are given obviously a table of rebates right and i explained what rebates are and in this question we are also going to be um deducting our medical tax credits okay from the total tax payable amount okay so a medical tax uh, credit, guys, right, is basically a rebate, right, that are received by the main member, okay? And that amount needs to basically be deducted from the total tax payable um, amount that we basically calculate, okay? So let's just have a look so that everything basically comes into perspective and you guys see what I'm talking about, okay? So it says that Kelly is a 55-year-old woman who earns an annual taxable income of 350000 okay? She pays medical aid for herself as well as her daughter, okay? Using the tax table for 2018 or 2029 tax year, calculate Kelly's monthly tax payable. Okay, so we've got a lot of things that are um, being tested here, right? We need to basically calculate, um, determine what tax bracket um, Kelly's income falls. In. that's the first thing we first need to determine right after that we will need to basically um, minus the rebate from the total tax payable amount that we would have calculated right and we also need to now minus the medical um, tax credit okay and then right from there we will only be given what her amount is per annum we need to then um still divide that amount by 12 because they want us to calculate kelly's monthly tax payable okay so let's just get started okay we know that kelly is a 55 year old and she earns three hundred and fifty thousand. so which tax brackets does she fall in okay so if she earns three hundred and fifty thousand, okay her income falls in the third tax bracket okay so this one's the first one this one's the second one this one is the third one okay it falls in the third tax bracket why because three hundred and fifty thousand is between three hundred and five thousand eight hundred and fifty one and four hundred and twenty three thousand three hundred okay so that's where um her income falls okay so once we've basically determined the tax bracket that her income falls in we basically need to basically write this formula down right because that formula is going to help us determine the amount of tax that kelly will have to pay so i'm going to basically write down this formula on the next page okay because this formula is going to help us calculate the rate of tax that kelly will have to pay okay okay so for us to be able to determine the amount of tax that kelly needs to pay right because her salary falls within the third tax bracket we're going to be using this formula to help us determine um the total tax that she has to pay right and that formula basically says that right she needs to pay 63,853 plus 31% of the taxable income above 305,850 okay so now how do we determine the taxable income that is above 305,850 okay so the taxable income that is above 305,850 will be her annual salary minus the given 305,850 50, okay so what was her annual salary we were told that she basically gets paid three hundred and fifty thousand, right 
So we take the 350,000 and we need to subtract it from 305,850, okay? So if you punch that into your calculator, you'll get that the taxable income, right, or her taxable income above 350 is actually equal to 44,150. Okay, so that is the taxable income, right? Her taxable income above 305,800. So what do we do with this now, all right? All that we now need to do is we need to substitute that 400, I mean, that 44,150 back into um, this equation that was given to us here initially, okay, to get what her taxable um, or tax payable is going to be so the tax payable will be the 63,853 plus 31% of the taxable income above 305,850 and we already found what that taxable income above 305,850 is right and we found it to be 44,150 so we just substitute that into our equation right and then guys i already explained to you guys when you see that of, it basically means that we are multiplying, right? So we're going to just take that 63,853 plus 31%, guys, is the same as just saying 31 divided by 100, right? Multiplied by 44,150. Okay, so if you punch that into your calculator, 31 divided by 100 multiplied by 44,150, that will basically give you 13,686.50 cents, right? And if you add these two amounts together, you'll find that now the total amount of tax payable, right, is actually equal to 77,539 point 50 cents okay however right we are not done we just found um how much tax she needs to pay looking at just the tax bracket that her salary falls in right we still need to what subtract the rebate we still need to what subtract what the medical um credits okay so in this case okay which rebate does Kelly qualify for, okay? Because Kelly is 55 years old, right? She qualifies for the primary rebate, okay? Because for the primary rebate, everyone qualifies for the primary rebate, okay? So in this case, we need to subtract the primary rebate of 14,067 rand, okay? So the tax payable, right? And we still need to um, subtract what the medical tax uh, rebate okay because we are told that she pays medical aid for herself and her daughter so her daughter is her dependent right so we first need to basically calculate how much are her monthly medical tax credits right and then from there we'll take it from there okay so let's just basically finish off um this calculation here all right therefore for us to get the total tax payable, it'll be the tax payable that we've calculated of 77,539 rand and 50 cents. And then we're going to minus the rebate, okay, her primary rebate, because she just qualifies for the primary rebate. And we're going to minus the medical rebate, okay? So that's what we're trying to do now, okay? So we need to basically find out what is her medical um, rebate, okay? Because in this case, we already know what the primary rebate is, okay? We already know what the primary rebate is in this case. And her primary rebate is going to, is actually equal to, so it's that 77, 77,539 rand and 50 cents minus the primary rebate. Her primary rebate is actually equal to, 14,067 rand and we still need to minus what the medical rebate however we don't know what the medical rebate is we still need to calculate that okay so in the next calculation i'm going to be showing you guys how we can get her medical rebate okay so in this case right because we are told that kelly right pays medical aid for herself and her daughter 
we know that obviously kelly is the main member okay because kelly is the one that actually pays tax okay she's the one that earns an income okay a taxable income so then the main member is kelly okay so that basically tells us that okay she's the main member the medical um tax credits that the main member gets is 319 rand okay however we still need to add the medical tax credit for her daughter because she's a dependent she depends on her um, mom to support her right so we need to basically take that 319 plus 319 okay okay to basically get what is the total monthly medical tax credit that um kelly gets okay okay so we're gonna take that 319 because um the main member gets a monthly uh medical tax credit of 319 plus 319 okay that she gets for the first dependent okay so if you basically add up those two amounts you'll find that the total monthly tax medical credits are actually equal to 638 rand however guys when we're basically working with these um the total tax payable guys we're working with annual amounts yearly amounts okay and what we have here is just a monthly amount okay so her monthly tax credits right is 638 rand however we don't want the monthly we want how much she gets in terms of her medical tax credits yearly Okay, so to get the yearly amount, all that we need to do is we basically need to take that 638 rand and we need to multiply that by... Okay, so therefore, if you take 638 rand and you multiply it by 12, you'll find that then the yearly amount is equal to 7,656. Okay, so therefore, the medical rebates that we basically still need to subtract from the total tax um, payable calculation is okay we're going to just take that 77,539.50 minus 14,067 minus the medical rebate of to get the total amount that Kelly is going to pay to water tax so if you punch all of these amounts into your calculator you'll get that the total tax payable right is actually equal to 55,816 rand and 50 cents okay so that is the total amount that she pays towards her tax per annum okay okay however remember the question asked us to basically determine kelly's monthly tax payable we just determined how much she pays towards her tax in a year right therefore we can conclude that okay we basically need to take the total tax payable amount and we need to divide that by 12 because we want to determine how much she actually pays per month instead of per year okay and we already know that we've got 12 months in a year therefore we just need to take that 55,816.50 and we need to divide that by 12 and if you punch that into your calculator you'll find that per month kelly pays okay therefore her monthly tax uh payable amount is 4651.38 cents okay you need to now round off the amount into uh, two decimal places okay because you can't leave it as 375 cents okay so that is basically how much um kelly gets towards or pays actually towards um her tax okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial okay but the take here is that you basically need to first get from the amount that we are given that um kelly earns right per annum you need to determine which tax bracket that amount falls in right once you are able once you've determined that all that we need to do we take that equation and we put it on our page and then we determine 
what is the taxable income above that, right? And to get the taxable income above this amount, we basically take her annual income and we minus that from that amount, right? But then we plug everything into our formula, okay? Once we've plugged everything into our formula, we are able to basically now get what was the tax payable, okay? And we found that the tax payable was actually equal to 77,539.50, okay? And then from there, we are not done. We still need to do it. To get the total tax payable, we still need to subtract the primary rebate. We still need to subtract the medical rebate because we are told about the fact that she pays medical aid for herself and her daughter right and we also know that in this table we were given rebates so we need to also subtract the rebates there right and then that's what we did right and then we found how much tax she pays in a year but remember the question asked us to determine how much tax she pays per month okay so that is why we still needed to now divide this amount by 12 to get the amount of tax that kelly pays in a year okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial right um in essence that's what you guys really need to understand when it comes to taxation you need to understand what threshold tax threshold means you guys need to understand what rebate means you guys need to understand what you guys need to do to the total tax payable amount right when a person also pays medical aid you need to subtract that amount as well from the total tax payable amount that you've uh, calculated okay so i think i've basically tackled um all the important concepts that you guys need to understand when you guys are dealing with taxation i hope you guys um followed with me i hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys. Thank you.